Hey guys, uh, so after my yesterday's video, it was uh, extremely nice to see all the. Um, uh, wow, that's that's an auto with some blaring music. So after my yesterday's video, it was really nice to see all your likes, all your uh, comments. So here is my bike. Uh, this guy is called Pista. So, so here it is. This is Pista. You guys have got to take a good look at this guy. Yeah. So. Where exactly I am? I I am in the first spot where I uh, rode my bike to. This is somewhere around Tiruporur. Um, it's a lovely place. Quite a lot of water. The guy standing there and taking a pic is my friend who taught me how to ride this boy. Um, so talking about the bike, uh, yes, once again it is a point of view from an amateur. So. Those bike enthusiasts who love this bike or who have a different opinion about the bike, kindly um, forgive me, or I'd like to apologize. However, you want me to put it. So here is um, my feedback on the bike. Why did I choose this bike? Firstly, because the frame was just amazing. Uh, I did try sitting on a Thunderbird 350 before I got to this bike. So when I sat on this bike, it was amazing in terms of the height i could uh, i can show you now i'm sitting on the bike and you can see that there is a pretty decent bend of my leg okay let me try taking the stand away so you can see that my leg is bent and i can kind of place my foot completely on the floor um which is a very nice thing i am what i am five six um i'm just I'm 5'6 and I did struggle a bit on the Thunderbird because I found I had to stretch my legs in order to uh, put it on the ground, uh, in order to rest it well on the ground. Uh, but with this bike, it wasn't much of a deal. So I could rest both my legs properly on the ground. So talking about the features of the bike, yes, it is pretty wide. The handlebars are pretty wide. Uh, the bike is a lot lighter than Thunderbird is what I felt. And... Uh, my, in my bike, the front brakes are disc brakes and the back ones are drum brakes. Um, and uh, talking about the changes that I've made, the only change that I've made with the bike is the seat. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you have had a look at the Java 42 uh, model that is being delivered. It, it, it's a pretty flat seat. And I felt there was a bit of a discomfort when I went for long rides. So I decided to get it altered. So thanks to a very good friend of mine, he put me on to this person called Johnson uh, in Alvar Pet in Chennai. So this is the seat that he did for me. So there are like two layers of cushioning there. So it was pretty comfortable. I did a very short ride after the seat was re uh, the seat was replaced. It's, it's, it's just mind blowing. Yes, of course, the old seat is there right under this. You can... That's a good cushioning there. You guys can see that? It's a pretty good cushioning there. It's, it's, it's nice and wide now. It's nice and wide. I did want to try out the other uh, models. I did look at a lot of videos online and I decided, okay, probably let me just go for a pretty basic one before I jump into, uh, uh, I mean, before I start making, uh, before I start taking big calls. So, yes, that was a big call for me. So, this is the first modification. Yes, of course, I did get the crash card uh, fit at Java showroom itself. That cost me around 1,700 odd. And this site for a mind-blowing 500 bucks so it was really it was it, it's, it's been very comfortable to ride after the seat has been changed so talking about the bike itself a lot of people have been complaining about rusting issues um, I'm not sure I'm not in a position to comment because I kind of live closer to the show so in such a condition and any kind of metal is supposed to uh, rust so I don't think I have much of a say there and talking about the lights, yes, um, there is this switch here. I'm not sure how many of them noticed. Preferable uh, a switch that would help you um, on the highway, and and what else? And and that's that. I think I'm pretty much done. Um, yeah, and uh, that's about it. I think that is all that I can speak to you now. And 
with my rides ahead of me i think i'll have more experiences and a lot more to share about the because uh, about the bike because i'm just learning and it's going to take a lot of time for me to understand the bike uh, the technicalities of the bike so for now this is pista and this is me bye bye